First ensure the chart note is filled out with the associated diagnosis codes. Diagnosis codes can be added to the chart note from the DX codes section or diagnosis section of a chart note. The diagnosis codes can be added either by clicking instant add tab, which will search the entire ICD database of codes. Also, diagnosis codes can be added to the chart by clicking Choose from Templates tab. This tab will show all the template lists of diagnosis codes. If the provider would like to add the procedure codes to the encounter while within the chart note view, click Procedure Codes at the top of the page. Note, procedure codes must be configured under settings before they can get entered into the invoice or procedure code section of a chart. Procedure code settings can be configured under Settings, Billing, Procedure Codes. To add in procedure codes to the encounter, type in the name of the procedure code or the number and click the code from the drop-down. The master list of procedure codes can be searched and added by clicking Choose from Master List. Lastly, procedure codes can be added by clicking Choose from Templates, checking off a template list, and clicking Add. Once the procedure codes have been added to the encounter, diagnosis codes can be routed to specific procedure codes if needed by clicking the DX button next to the procedure code. Check off the diagnosis codes that need to be routed to the procedure code. Also if needed, the diagnosis code modifiers and point of service of the specific procedure code can be specified. Click Update to continue. Once the diagnosis codes have been routed to the procedure code, the DX pointers will automatically be created. All of this diagnosis and procedure code details will flow into the claim and invoice section. Click save at the bottom to save the information. Toggle back to the chart notes or physician tab. When the chart note is filled out with content and the diagnosis codes have been added if needed, Click Save or Sign at the bottom of the chart. Note, a super bill can be created even if the chart note is not signed. Once the chart note is signed or saved, navigate to the billing section. All of the saved or signed chart note encounters flow into the billing, generate bills section. To create a super bill, find the desired chart note encounter. Click on the action button of the encounter and click New Invoice. If the procedure code and diagnosis code information was filled out by the provider, this information will already be filled out under the procedure code section. If these details have not been entered, they can be added to this page the same way procedure codes can be added while within a chart note. If any insurance details have been entered into the patient's details, this information can be retrieved by checking off the patient's primary or secondary insurer. To add payment information, scroll down to the bottom of the page. If the entire amount of the bill is collected from the patient, type in this full balance due amount in one of the payment amount boxes. If only a copay is collected from the patient, type in the copay amount in one of the payment amount boxes. Once the invoice details have been entered, Click Approve Invoice at the bottom. Once the invoice has been approved, you will be transferred to the Billing Invoices section. 
From this section, you can navigate to the invoice that was created and print up a super bill by clicking the action button next to the invoice and clicking print. This will take you to a PDF of the super bill that can be printed up for the patient.